so um, as a business reader, it's really important that we can do a lot more than just turn the page, page after page. I may need to go to a specific spot in a document quickly. And with this ta paging toolbar, I can jump around in a document anywhere I need to. I can also very quickly turn the page using a gesture and move to the next page. So on this page, you can see that um, the interest in um, digital content is growing. This is just ebooks. But when you add all the content that you already deal with day to day, you find that it's very easy um, to, to want to do that on a reader this size, where the content still looks like it would if you printed it. Now, the other thing you want to do with business documents is not just stay in one document all the time. You frequently want to move from one document to another. So on our recent toolbar here, we are able to quickly move from the, any of the last five documents you've uh, been reading. So just these tabs, basically. These tabs. I so see. here's an example of uh, the um, conference schedule here. And um, you can see some of the annotation features on the uh, device. So you can you can make no can you make notes or you annotate? can make notes. With, you, can you show me? I can show you a note. And I can show you. Um, I bring up the annotation toolbar. I have a um, a pen here that I can you know circle something using the stylus I'll never lose. You have a key keyboard. I also type. have a keyboard. We also have these stamps because what we found is that most people find that when they draw something, they don't like the way it looks. You know, you want to circle something, you want it to actually look like uh, someone with artistic skill has circled it. So we have one that comes out that way, or if you draw an arrow, you want that arrow to look pretty good. So, you know, here we are today coming up uh, on this session that's supposed to start pretty soon. So the arrow will show near there. Um, the other thing we have is the ability to do a note. And I can tap on the note, tap where I want the note to be, and then the keyboard will come up. And is any? Can you see uh, web pages with this? Um, you can't uh, browse the web directly. And uh, what, what's going to be the cost of this? We're not talking about price at this time. Is this going to? Are there going to be devices that are, com you know, competitive with the Kindle, or is it going to be more expensive? Uh, Pricing-wise, we're going to be competitive with the other um, e-readers that are out there. And what's what's the advantage of this versus the e-ink technology that's in the Kindle? So this has e-ink technology. The biggest difference between our technology and what you'll find in other e-readers that use e-ink is that our backplane is used, is developed with our proprietary plastic electronics. So there isn't a glass backplane that's fragile and heavy. If you use the standard technology to make something this big, it would weigh a lot more than this. This weighs less than a pound. So your advantage is really form factor? Form factor. We can go this large and stay this light. So other than that, are there any features that you can have on this device that you can't with other uh, readers? In that respect, no. The, the big difference beyond that becomes the um, user interface that we've chosen that's focused on business use. So you can make the kind of annotations that we've got here. You can page around. Um, we've got an organizational system. Will you be making your own devices, or you're going to OEM it to other devices? We're making our own. So it's just going to look something like this? The final ID is uh, not being shown yet. This is our prototype. I got you. OK. Well, thanks a lot.